The founder and former CEO of crypto giant FTX has been arrested in the Bahamas. Sam Bankman Fried was taken into custody after American authorities filed criminal charges against him, but there's no word yet on what those charges are. The arrest comes one day before he was set to testify virtually before a congressional committee over the company's sudden collapse. The U.S. now expected to request his extradition. North Dakota's congressional delegation raising concerns as videos from the southern border now circulate online. Border Patrol agents say thousands of migrants have crossed near El Paso in the past few days, which has stressed the city's facilities beyond capacity. U.S. Senator John Hoven says he hopes Congress can put more pressure on the Biden administration to get it stopped. Congressman Kelly Armstrong says the Biden administration has spent the past two years, quote, gaslighting about the southern border, and he says it needs to secure the border now. Border Patrol agents anticipate even more crossings in the coming days as Title 42 is expected to end on December 21st. That's the controversial policy that started during the Trump administration to expel migrants on public health grounds. CVS and Walgreens have now agreed to pay a combined $10.7 billion to settle allegations that they failed to adequately oversee opioid painkiller prescriptions, which then contributed to America's addiction crisis. The funds will be distributed to states, local governments, and federally recognized tribes and will go toward opioid crisis abatement programs. The pharmacy chains have also agreed to implement compliance programs that will require additional layers of opioid prescription reviews and institute new mandatory training programs. A Texas man and his dog are now back together after more than seven years apart. Aw, Carrie Smith's dog Jazzy ran away from their Fort Worth, Texas home. It was during Fourth of July fireworks. Now fast forward seven years, Orange County, Florida Animal Services took in an abandoned dog that they found the other day. He was found in a motel room without food or water. Yeah, they scanned for a microchip and then made the connection. Smith flew to Orlando for the reunion and he plans to shower Jazzy with love and then help her get better as she works on her health journey. Mm. And the importance of having your dog chipped and tagged. Yeah. There. Let's see how people are responding now to our question of the morning on Facebook. That question today, this happens more in the two weeks before Christmas than any other time of the year. And here are some of your answers. Kathy says Christmas programs. Sherry says new credit cards. Uh-oh, that spending's coming early. And Darnell says the snow. At wah, least around wah, wah. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to leave your answer and join in on the conversation, check out our question on the Valley News Live Facebook page. We'll be back with the correct answer a little later on in show. New at 6.30, a fatal fire in Wisconsin, and it's a tough one to take. A school district now confirming all of the victims are students. Also ahead, rough weather across the region this morning. Here is a live look in Jamestown right now, where ice and snow are making for some difficult Tuesday morning road conditions. And meteorologist Elisa Green is going to be tracking all of it and giving us the breakdown. Look at that sky cam here in Hankinson, covered with that snow and ice. She'll let you know if we can expect more of it throughout the day.